Welcome back to the Sports Renegades. I read an article saying, did you guys see uh, Brandon Marshall uh, challenged uh, Detroit Lions fans? I did see that. I heard about it a little bit on my drive down here. Uh, He... It was like a Lions fan, right? Mm-hmm. That, yep. that he uh, challenged and uh, twenty five grand, twenty five grand. <laughs> I, I mean, he just, I, I mean, he just needs to go out there and play. He doesn't need all this off the field stuff, especially when he's got his own issues. Absolutely, yeah, it's, right. It's bad. And uh, did you guys see what uh, Mark Tressman's job title was changed to on Wikipedia? <laughs> No, I, I didn't. Isn't it just a question mark? Nope, it says head moron. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know on Sunday during the Bears-Packers game, someone was toying around with it. And I, I think at one point, um, I think it just the title just said question mark, I don't know. Or, yeah. Or something now, simple now, like that. Now it says head moron. Head moron, yep. I, I mean, that, that fits better than head coach. I wonder, I know, uh, I'm trying to think the year it was where Andy Reid went to the Chiefs. Was that 2011 or 2012? He's in his second season 12, there. Yeah. 2012. Okay. They, the Bears should have fired Lovey Smith after the 2011 season, gone after Andy Reid. Well, also keep in mind that, that would have been interesting. Th- that I would have I would have liked it, especially with Cutler. It would have been interesting to see how that worked out. Mm-hmm. But also keep in mind that one of the final candidates for this job before Tressman got it was Bruce Arians. Right, and, and he's doing job. a tremendous job right. in Arizona. So it's, it's – I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty there, but, you know, it would be sh- pretty nice to see – Bruce Arians, or at least a better coach than Mark Tressman, because I think Tressman's been outcoached pretty much every game Some, this season. Do you guys know why they hired Tressman over Arians? No, is there like a clear cut? Like, is there like a reason why? Or was uh, it there's age? A, there's a reason that they though that they're not going to say. The real reason is Tressman was cheaper to hire. That's true. He was cheaper to hire c- coming from the CFL and everything. Right. Did you guys hear all the Twitter harassment his daughters have been getting? It's a shame. Yeah, I know. It's, you know, I understand you're upset about a team, but that's, I mean, you know, it's, you can't even describe, you know, what what's going on with those people. See, yeah. I think it's that's just horrendous. more of the Tressman is coaching the Bears at the wrong time because it's all these seasons of mediocrity and being bad and when you have ex- high expectations, they're bad. Like all these bad and mediocre seasons, and now that even though they're kind of a, e- now that they're losing all these games and getting blown out terribly, now it's being it's really kind of like something that's a big buildup, and now all the Bears fans are letting it out. Yeah, yeah. This is a team that had Super Bowl expectations, and yeah. now yep. I mean, and now uh, you're giving up 50 yeah. points in back to back games, and now when we're trying to punt the ball, a, a block or Someone trying to block the punt kicks it before our punter does. <laughs> well, did true. you see that too? Because remember, they had two punters in training camp. They had Pat O'Donnell, who they have now, and, right. then, Tre- and then Tress Way. Well, 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 how stupid would they look, though, if they kept Tress Way and they cut their sixth-round pick? Exactly. Well, why waste the, why waste the pick on a punter? And have he- you seen what Tress Way has done? I think he leads the, he's the number one in uh, yards per punt in the NFL. That is outrageous. I mean, that's scouting for you. Like that's got to be. I mean, they said O'Donnell had the best leg in the draft. Except, how does someone? How does the guy trying to block the punt kick the ball before the punter? That's uh, just bad luck and also just bad mechanics. Maybe I, I, I don't know. We could have got a punt off quicker than that because it looked like he was taking his time. Yeah, he was. He, I mean, he was probably mad too about everything that was going on. I mean, it's you know, fourteen nothing at that time, or he's tired. Something he had like to that. work so much. Yeah. I mean, did you guys hear? Uh, let's see what our. What was I going to say? Oh, well, you know what's kind of funny though is that the Bears set the franchise record for points allowed in the first half against the Patriots, and then their next game they set it again against Green Bay. Yep. So those are the number one and two. Now they kept alluding to. Oh, I got it. It, It's kind of funny that uh, fans actually thought when uh, Onion, which is reports a bunch of like lies and just satire articles and whatnot, they said that Jay Cutler blamed the loss on the punter and said that they would have (laughs) won if it wasn't for the punter. He said, "Yeah, we need a punting change if he's going to be helping us lose games like that." Right. That was the that was the main excerpt from the uh, from the article. The headline was uh, Jay Cutler and quoting being quoted saying, "I'll be the first to admit that." that we need a new punter around here. <laughs> yeah. And people believed it. <laughs> because that's the the because that's not oh. the biggest thing at all. But um but then also, you know, Robbie Gold the last two games has not kicked the field goal. Mm-hmm. Last 3. Last 3 games. That's 
That's true, yeah. So that's um, something to definitely keep an eye on, too. I mean, they're not even getting into field goal range. Right. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's, it, it's bad. It'd be, it'd be one and thing. And when they do, they go for it on fourth down and they don't convert. Mm hmm. It'd be one thing if the defense was playing horribly, but the offense was spectacular, spectacular like last year. But neither is getting it done this year, and I think that's why this season is much more disappointing. And this the record shows. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason they kept Tucker was mostly because they wanted to see what he could do with more of a healthy defense, more veterans, and adding more impact players at each position. And now it's really kind of showing that Mel Tucker just doesn't know what he's doing. That's the thing. It was supposed to be more improved this year. You know, it's supposed to be second season of the defense. You sign Jared Allen. You sign uh, Lamar Houston. You know, these guys that have done good in the past with the Vikings and Raiders. And then now you just, I mean, it's just, it's so much worse than it was last year. And last year they finished the season uh, at 500. And now, I mean, they'll be lucky if they get to 500. You know, the funny thing is that guess how many undrafted free agents from this season that the Bears have on their team? I'll yeah. say probably about eight, yeah. Yeah, eight undrafted free agents. Christian Jones. I don't know all of them. Um, I'm just saying that that's outrageous. You oh, know, absolutely. Set eight, eight undrafted players. And also, the, the big news this week was they waved Santonio Holmes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not like he did anything because because Marquise Wilson yeah. is back, right? Is that yeah. is that what the I think mm-hmm. so? Was, and the yeah. thing with Christian Jones though, he was at, he's actually pretty good, yeah, and he was absolutely. supposed to be a second round pick if it wasn't for a drug problem. Right. And anyways, we got a quick timeout well, coming. Real quick, I want to ask I want to ask you guys a question before we get to the commercial break. Mm-hmm. I'll ask you guys. We'll share our answers. If you would like to call and answer that question for us, does Mark Tressman return? Give us a call, 630-403-5200. We'd love here to get your take, and I'll answer first. And my answer is, yes, I think he returns. Do I want him to return? No. The McCaskies won't fire him until it's long overdue. Yeah, I, or if anything, I agree they'll with just you. let all four years of his contract run out, and then they'll be like, oh, we, we, won't, we might re-sign him because you'll sign for cheap. That's possible, too. I, I mean, I agree with you. I think he's going to come back, although I don't want him to. I think uh, they're not going to fire him at this point. Um, but I do think Mel Tucker's gone. Unf- I, you'd like to think Mel Tucker's gone. <laughs> if, if he isn't gone, I don't know what he had to do to get fired from the Bears. Unfortunately, I agree with you guys both. Um, I think a lot of it depends on the remainder of the season. If this team continues to plummet and, it, and there's proof that he's completely lost the locker room, then maybe the problem maybe is now their started. schedule gets a little easier it does but do you th- do you still think that the bears can beat the vikings twice because before before all the all these struggles you could have said yeah absolutely right. but now looking at the schedule uh, i mean you could say that maybe they win too maybe th- you don't even know if they could beat tampa now you'll definitely lose to the lions twice i think and that's going to be an issue I, I think they play on thanksgiving in a couple weeks mm-hmm. Did and, you guys then, ins- and then they play later in seasons that Jay Cutler has beaten the Green Bay, every season that Jay Cutler has beaten the Packers, gone the Bears the have gone to the playoffs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he beat them one time in his career. He's one in twelve against them. It's another, you know, it's another division win. Right, and, and that was the the team again that had the good defense, bad offense, but they were still able to make it to the the playoffs in twenty ten. Well, they also have Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, <laughs> that that's the thing. They have Aaron Rodgers. Did you hear that he said he injured his back by standing on standing the sideline? Standing watch, watching, <laughs> watching too much of the game. He was standing too much. He wasn't moving enough because he didn't play in the second half. But, yeah, that, that was... Well, uh, even some of the Packers um, players were saying that they felt like the Bears gave up or pretty, pretty early well, on. Well, it sure looked like it to us. Absolutely. So I, I, that, that's probably what it looked like to the Packers, too, yeah. It looked like Cutler gave up after he threw his first pick. Mm-hmm. I love the... Uh, I loved how they went to him on the sitting on the bench by himself, just chewing his fingernails. Like he wanted nothing to do with that game at all. No, he wanted to get out of out the, of there, which the Bear, happens yeah. a lot to the Bears. Have the Bears thought about just maybe giving Jay Cutler the Green Bay games off, <laughs> just to see what the what Jimmy Clausen could have done the whole game? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he would have gotten into a groove and everything. But I mean, in oh, no yeah, way should was, he ever be benched. Really, in, in no way would they have beaten Green Bay last Sunday, regardless of who started. Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers was just on fire. Yeah. One of the things that I'm growing concerned with with Mark Trustman is his lack of play of calling. That and then using Matt Forte. Yeah, well, 
your running back is supposed to run the ball, not catch five yard passes every play. Right, and you know, first and second down against the Packers, you should run the ball. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, they'll they'll maybe run on first or, or second, not both, or sometimes neither. Especially when they're down, then they'll try to do these passes that just don't work, like the uh, the interceptions. Uh, and just, the, just everything uh, else. The end rounds to Chris Williams yeah, or, and whatnot. Or the screens to Alshon Jeffrey that only give like a one yard or two yard gain. Like, I don't understand what that's about. But, Throw it past the first down marker. I mean, the thing is, on first down, there was one drive, incomplete pass, and then they ran the ball with Forte and lost two yards, and then Cutler threw a screen pass and they gained five. I'm just thinking. <laughs> On third and twelve, you throw a pass behind the line of scrimmage, and it's run for five yards. Like it has to, like, like it doesn't matter how many inter- interceptions you throw, you should be throwing past the first down marker, especially when you're down by multiple scores. It's almost as if Mark Tressman doesn't like throwing the ball deep, and like you said. You know, throwing passes on first down, I think we've all played enough Madden to know that Madden always calls for the run on first down. Mm-hmm. First play of the game, wasn't it a pass? Uh, yes, I think it was. it was, and that that was part of the issue, too. I mean, it, it should never be a pass, especially after, well, of course, I mean, it probably was a pass because of, um, um, a, because of a penalty to start the game after mm-hmm. they ran it back. So they were already down, you know, at the 10-yard line or something. So, I mean, it, it was tough, but still, just run the ball out. I think they picked up two first downs on that drive, except then the ball was only at, like, the 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're right about that. We will be right back here on SportsOnChicago.com. You are listening to the Sports Renegades.